Hi everyone, this is Ants. This is an updated video of the side-by-side -side comparison of a game that I had built with LibGDX that I, I migrated to Godot um, 4.3. And it's a side-by-side -side comparison of Godot GLES 3 versus LibGDX, which is also based on GLES uh, 3. And it's a side-by-side -side comparison, but this comparison is the final game, and they're both going to be running uh, demo mode, right? So they're going to be playing demo mode, which the game plays itself, and you can see the side-by-side -side comparisons here. You could see with your own eyes the difference, right? But I'm going to go into the particulars. Let's go through with the LibGDX side. It's using libgdx 1.12.1. Uh, it is uh, based on GLES, and it's using the Java programming language. Godot over here is 4.3 beta something, um, and it's using the compatibility mode, which means it's GLES 3, and that's, they call it compatibility mode. So it is apples to apples in terms of uh, the backend hardware. And I use GDScript to build the game. Okay. And moving forward in terms of the binary size, we're on the second line here. So um, libgdx version is less than 40 megs, but on the runtime, it actually uses up to 520 megs. And then it does some garbage collection and it goes down to around 480 megabytes. Now I reuse uh, all the objects. I have object pooling. I don't create any new, really new objects. So um, just keep that in mind. And uh, the binary size on the Godot, it's much bigger. And the reason why it's much bigger is because I have a hundred more uh, 3D models. I have higher quality textures. It creates more MIP maps. It creates more LOD, level of detail on these objects, that sort of thing. And the runtime memory, which is the more important thing, is it's rock solid at 196 megabytes and it goes up and down like two megabytes. It goes to 194, 95, and then 96, and it's very, very constant, uh, which is interesting. Now, I don't wanna talk about the CPU utilization, but it's I notice that it's much less on Godot. Sometimes it's 0.2% for long stretches of a time, and then it goes up to two, three, four, five, six percent sometimes nine, but on uh, the libgdx size, uh, side, the CPU is a lot uh, higher, sometimes reaching 16%. It's probably using you know the garbage collection cycle. I don't know. Um, but I, I need better tools to figure out what's going on, profiling tools to, to know what's going on. Okay, the next uh, metric is the most important one to me. I am... Um, I develop games for fun as a hobby. I don't do this for money. I don't do it for fame. I just do it because I, I, I like doing it and it's fun. And it's a pretty good hobby. It keeps your uh, brain sharp and all that kind of stuff. I don't know the exact figure of how long in the past two years, two and a half years actually, I burned a number of hours on the LibGDX side, but at a minimum, extremely conservative it's 120 hours or uh, much more than 120 hours right compare that to the effort that i documented using videos of my weekend after weekend uh, uh effort of migrating this game to uh godot and not more than 22 hours. I, I initially stated 20 hours, but I added controller support and that took a couple of hours, which is very easy by the way. Uh, and I have a video for that too. But basically uh, five weekends, uh, two to four hours about, and um, I had it migrated. Now I didn't have to find all the assets, react, uh, do all the assets, but I did have to find new assets. Um, so just keep that in mind. Relatively, I've, I've said this to other people and they say how much faster is developing a game in Godot versus LibGDX. I would say six to 10 initially, but then it's 10 plus once you know how to, you know, Godot, uh, if you have more experience with Godot. I didn't have any experience with Godot, very little. So just keep that in mind. Now you have to realize that um, you, you, there's a, 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 a lot of extra features on the Godot side. I have a hundred plus more of 3D models. Um, it has uh, 12, uh, I'm gonna replay this. 
and I'm gonna replay this. Um, it has a hundred more models. I have like 12 extra, I have 12 uh, 3D models for the anti-aircraft guns, 12 models for the um, satellite dishes, the radar sites, um, models for the um, updated models for the factory and for the missile, the cruise missile is a 3D model. It's not just a, a decal. I have 3D sound, I have smoke effects. Uh, I have controller support, I have higher quality textures. There's a lot of extras on the Godot side, right? So um, that's the reason why it solves a lot of questions like why the binary size is greater, why it looks better, uh, and that sort of thing. So yeah, um, this is basically gonna be part why you should uh, not use LibGX for 3D. You can do it, you'll get, you know, you have to put more effort to do it. Um, and there's a lot of arguments there, some hate that's saying, well, the reason why your LibGDX version looks like shit is because you don't know how to do 3D in LibGDX. Okay, let's go down that, uh, let's assume that that's correct. Well, if I don't know anything about 3D and I don't know how to code uh, using LibGDX, I definitely did not know how to code with Godot because I, didn't know, I did not know GDScript and I don't like GDScript. Uh, initially, I really hated it, but it's it's okay now because the way I see it is, <clears throat> it's a lot less code. I get stuff done. I could get stuff done with GD Script, and things work. Things perform well. They look good and all that kind of stuff. And I'm happy with the output because I'm output driven, results driven. Because this is a hobby for me, and I don't have many hours to burn on this. So, given that. And if your argument is, oh, you just don't know how to use libgdx in 3D, well, that's, by the way, the you know, I have a good chunk of all games made on itch.io that are 3D. So, I mean, even if they, in a way, these people who, you know, live in uh, the basements of their mom's home that are in their 30s and their only purpose in life is the, a commit streak, um, you know, uh, coming from them, it doesn't really mean much, but they, they don't actually make games or even 3D games and they have opinions. And so uh, even if they actually argue that, they actually make LibGDX look even worse and bad. And the reason why is this, is basically they should have on their website is if you wanna make a 3D game on LibGDX, you have to know how to, uh, you have to know everything about 3D and you have to know about the uh, uh, LibGDX 3D library and it's not easy. Well, okay, and basically you're saying to use Godot. But anyways, that's another video. I just wanted to do another side-by-side -side comparison you could see with your own eyes uh, the, the difference. And uh, yeah, so that's it. I hope you enjoy it and have a great day.